Okay. You know what we need? We need that po 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 she news. Hey, I'm Tay D Z. How y'all doing? Having fun today? <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Do you like news? Do you like sports? Do you like sports news? Do you trust your local journalist in your local sports newspaper? Or your favorite website? Or on the field, on the court, whatever? Well, I hope this doesn't ruin your, your you know, judgment of them. So apparently, Carissa Thompson, the uh, sideline reporter for both Fox Sports and Amazon's Thursday Night Football broadcast, she has admitted that sometimes she fudges the truth a little when it comes to her sideline broadcasts. And this has gotten the sports world very angry, at least the sports journalism world. Um, now, other journalists have responded to this. When she was on the Pardon My Take uh, podcast, uh, Chris Thompson stated that sometimes on the sideline, she would, you know, if she didn't get the response she wanted or if you know a, a, a coach declined an interview she just she would just be like well or i think the coach said that's reasonable and she'd report it and make it seem as if the coach actually said that now i will say this i'm going to add some context here so it doesn't completely put her in an awful light so you know because I'm, I'm a you know i'm fair so are you trying not to be menaced? <laughs> Don't let that show because that's very inappropriate. I, I, I'm uh, to remember uh, this, this is poetry is a Tay DZ. So come on, Tay DZ. Tay. Say, do your news. Do your news, bro. Do your news. <laughs> she paying attention to me. Anyway. I have to, I will be fair to her. Now, she has come out on Instagram and said that her words, she she worded it weirdly. And she didn't mean to word it like that. I can read it for you, Tay. If you Please. want. Are you talking about the apology? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the apology that she posted. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. I have a responsibility to myself and my employers to clarify what is being reported. When on a podcast this week, I said I would make up reports early in my career when I worked as a sideline reporter before I transitioned into my current host role. Working in media, I understand how important words are and I chose the wrong words to, de to describe the situation. I'm sorry. I have never lied about anything or been unethical during my time as a sports broadcaster. So she has tried to correct it by saying she did it early in her career when she didn't get the sound bites she wanted and that she hasn't done it since <clears> then, <throat> especially mm. deeper into her career as a broadcast journalist within sports. Now, here's the thing, whether or not she's telling the truth on this or not, which, by the way, if this was so truthful, once again, as a journalist, being good with your words is like your job. And telling me <laughs> that's what I was saying is your job. So if you have to get on Twitter or Instagram, whatever, to basically apologize for how you worded something, then you're not doing a great job as a you know, a journalist. And yes, maybe she made one mistake in that wording. But once again, it's the difference between, it's like the comma, you know? <clears throat> you know, you have to know when to use the comma. Because that comma is very important when it comes to context, you know? Uh, what do you want to eat, comma, kids? What do you want to eat? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Wordage matters. 
Mm-hmm. I want to uh, make a commentary on the fact that nowadays when people want to say something important, I notice they've been writing it out instead of making a video. And I feel like writing something is an easier route to take because when you have a video, you can hear tone of voice, you can see facial expression and body language. So people can get more information about how you really mean something mm-hmm. versus when you write something in text, it gives a level of formality and finality to what you're saying. So I think her communicating through written word was a way to sort of escape saying any more about the situation. And I also feel that since she is a journalist and she admit that she essentially didn't give truthful reports. I think she's telling the truth about that. I think that was a confession because that damages her credibility, her reputation, her journalistic integrity. That's her career. So it doesn't make sense to lie about that. What makes sense is to take that to your grave. Like I don't <laughs> exactly. why you would even say that. Like if if you did that, if you did that don't ever tell anybody like you tell your mom that when you're doing it but you if if it was years ago keep it back there like you know i don't understand why she got so comfortable on that podcast you know she's so comfortable as her spot as a host you know she's so comfortable in her career i just feel like she has taken her position for granted and it's it's a little bit mind-boggling because she's a woman in a male-dominated field so it just makes you wonder you know you're not just damaging the the role for yourself it's for like other people who are trying to make strides in a similar path and are trying to like break thresholds so yeah. I don't know what she was doing. She's coming across as confused. And some secrets you just gotta keep. No. She lying. <laughs> she, she, she's still doing it to this day. <laughs> like Kay said, she took the easy way out by writing it out instead of doing a video, which gives the impression that she tried to scapegoat her way out and tried to make it seem like she's not still doing it when in <laughs> reality you think she's still doing it yes i i oh, need to that's a battle though I, I you know what tell you i need to you know, you know <clears throat> say her sentence in this podcast was i've said it before so i haven't been fired for saying it but i'll say it again i would make up the report sometimes because a the coach wouldn't come out at halftime or it was too late and i was like i didn't want to screw up the report so i was like i'm just going to make this up now you know also by the way then she says, first of all, no coach is going to get mad if I say, <clears throat> hey, we need to stop hurting ourselves. We need to be better on third down. <clears throat> we need to stop turning the ball over and do a better job of getting off the field. <clears throat> like, they're not going to correct me on that, she explained. So I'm like, it's fine. I'm just going to make up the report. Now, once again, now here's my issue. Here's my issue. She she was too comfortable. Way she too was comfortable. comfortable. <laughs> what she and... said was so correct. Exactly. Like, you, if, if I write, okay, let's say, um, let's say be my, you're having a birthday party, right? Mm-hmm. And you have tasked me with getting the cake or make baking the cake even. Now let's say, uh, I waited too long and the, I cannot know, I can no longer bake this cake. So instead I get it from Safeway and I, you know, make it seem like I got you the cake from Safeway. I'm sorry, maybe see my I made the cake myself. Do you think during the middle <laughs> of your party, everyone's partying and I'll be like, this is great, Tay. Thanks so much. And I'm just like, oh yeah, thanks, BMI. Yeah. I got it from Safeway, man. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm waiting. No. Here. <laughs> at least. At least. At least one year. Oh. Oh, so you <laughs> she can let slip after she retires like when her career is over then you could be like oh yeah yeah but let me, exactly let me tell y'all a brief story 
when my and one and when I ever went to community college, I had a a, a a film professor, you know, and this professor used to be so angry at the idea of somebody using iMovie. He said, "Use Adobe Premiere. Only use Adobe Premiere." I use iMovie. I have no money for Adobe Premiere. I use iMovie. And guess what? He couldn't tell the difference. And then at the end of my time at that community college, when it was time to present everything and he could no longer change my grades on all of those things I did. So I got A's and B's on them. At the end of it all, I told him I used iMovie. What was he going to do about that? Exactly. I, now, now, now she's she's ruined her rep her um her reputation. Right. And and people like me are going to believe that she's still doing it to this day. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so so I so. I so I with, go, ahead. go ahead, Kay. As a side no, no, no. I feel there's like a stigma of oh those women journalists are just there as a pretty face they're not really saying anything and now there are more like women journal broadcast journalists on sports shows like giving opinions and more substantial information so I feel with her talking about that she makes up her reports it kind of brings the progression back to oh she's not saying anything she doesn't know what she's talking about they had to put like like one woman on there it's like where do you think you are like <laughs> you know what what you, what you do does not just affect you and your career it affects other people in a similar field and it affects fans mm -hmm. like people are listening to your report thinking you're telling the truth so but at the same time she's right like Nobody's gonna no coach is gonna get mad if they if the mistakes they're making are what she reported. That's true. I mean, I'm sure there are some platitudes that journalists can say, like in those situations. For example, the third down for example, the third down situation. If the team wasn't doing well on third down, then it may be safe to say, oh, they have to do better on third down, sort of thing. Yeah, <clears throat> but it's just like, Carissa, what are you doing? Like, you cut <laughs> you, <laughs> you, box. like, I made stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 you, you, uh, you could have, like, like, Tate, you said, you could have let that slip at the end of your career. At, at at after you don't retired, right? After it no longer affects you. No, look, exactly. But it still it, doesn't affect her because Tay, in the quote that you read, she said, "I have said this before." Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're so right. we're just tripped out. <laughs> we're the only ones tripped but out by also, it. Also, what? What's a trip is that other women journalists have reacted to what she has said and they have reacted in a way where they are like aghast. They're mm -hmm. like, how could you say this and do this in an era where we're working to be taken more seriously? And not so, just that, in an era where journalism already is getting attacked by people who shout the word fake news. So admitting that you lie about your reports is counterintuitive <laughs> to all your brothers and sisters in the uh, journalism world. So, yeah, and what she doesn't realize is that doesn't only affect her or even just women. It, it it affects all journalists. But but I will say this. Um, I kind of close it out. I will say this. I uh. As an avid sports watcher, especially a football watcher, we never cared about those silent reports anyway. <laughs> They're all kind of useless to begin with. Um, anyway, uh, coming out of the locker room for the third quarter, yeah, Coach So and So just said, "We gotta work harder. Have to be. Have to try harder. You know, be better on the field. Get more touchdowns. Cut down on the mistakes." Yeah. 
we think they're going to do very good. And it's like, well, thank you for the wonderful <laughs> addition to our knowledge here. You know, Carissa, we've, <laughs> oh, we've, no. seen, we've seen, like, you know, it's like a little recap. But that's what? the thing. She don't, she don't really, it'd be like if I went over your house, K-Bells, and then I left and then be my ass, hey, KZ, how's K-Bells? I said, oh, well, you know, K-Bells, she's breathing. She's she's walking on both legs. You know, she, she's eating food very well. Um, She had a complete thought today. So that's good. That's good. We hope for the continued success. I mean, you're, you're communicating that I'm healthy. He asked how I am. And you answered the question. But, but, it, but in... Oh my goodness! Yeah, I guess. Tay and K Bells. In conclusion, the, the sideline reports for those who have been watching the game, the whole the whole game, are useless. They're pretty useless. They're they're, they're pretty useless. And Carissa Thompson is missing the principle of the matter. Regardless of how useless your segment is on the show, you are a journalist and you are supposed to tell the truth. And you can't just say, I used to lie, as if the lying does not matter. <laughs> like, the principle is you lied. And and like I said, I still believe that she does it to this day. Um, we'll never know. We'll never know. I'm gonna be I'm gonna, I'm gonna be listening I'm listening very carefully to her. Very she gonna say she gonna say nothing different. Be my she gonna say nothing different from her other reports. Like, no, it's not like they don't get rid of her. It's like if she hasn't faced repercussions, we're saying. I mean, you know, I guess when she said it before, there wasn't outrage. But since there's outrage on social media, she may actually face repercussions maybe. because nowadays, when that's been happening. Things have been or, happening, so or we'll maybe and, you know she'll just go on a sideline and when when she gets asked about what what the coach said, she'll just say, "Oh no, Jim, he, he wouldn't meet with me. Uh, the door was he slammed the door in my face when I tried to get in there. Uh, I have no news for you. Um, here's a dog. Back to you in the studio." I mean, that's what she could have been saying. She could have been saying, "Oh, I didn't get a chance to talk to the coach." However, this is what's going on. Like exactly, so. <laughs> so now it's going to be it's going to be even more coaches there's going to it's going to be an influx of reporters getting coach interviews coach no 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 like real like coaches really being there well yeah. so okay to, to kind of, okay, one last thing. So they kind of have been getting these more. They've been getting more sideline interviews with like like coaches mid-game and fans. And even some coaches have said that they don't like it because it takes the coach away from the game. So maybe less mid-game interviews and updates. I mean, unless it's like an injury report or like yeah. they have something useful to say, maybe yeah. it's okay if we don't. See yeah. It. Maybe we just talk to fans or something. Like, just interact with fans. Don't they do that at basketball games? Like, they'll do like a half point <laughs> shot sort of yeah. game. You know, it doesn't have to be like news like that. I yeah, feel, but, yeah. Especially since they already have a full halftime show that recaps the game you're watching and several other games. So, like, the sideline reporter can just give you an injury report, like you said, and maybe interact with some yeah, fans. Maybe interact with some, like, drunk Baltimore Ravens fan in the crowd, you know. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> talking about <laughs> Ravens? I mean, if you're a drunk Eagles well, fan, or you know what? A high Eagles fan. That, that's possible. <laughs> fly, Eagles, fly. Burbo. <laughs> Okay, it looks like we're not going to have time for our slim because we've already gone five minutes over our showtime. Oh, we can do a slim. Um, 